Community clubs play huge roles in the lives of their members, their staff and their local economies. Hello, I'm Catherine Alcorn and this is Maryland's RSL. But really, it could be any one of the community clubs located in country towns and cities throughout Australia, where literally millions of people find a sense of belonging. I started as a bartender and gaming floor and then worked my way up. There's actually one girl, she actually changed her whole life completely. She was trying to do all these things and she said, why do I need to do that? It's because my mum wanted me to do it. I want to become a seamstress and actually produce my own clothing company. And I said, well, why don't we do that? So play league on a Friday night sometimes and then back up and play rugby union. And I found out it was a yearly tradition here at the club that they send someone to Kokoda to represent the club and participate in the Kokoda Youth Leadership Challenge. Yes, well, this club is to give you a good opportunity. My background is a five-star hotel, a restaurant, and then I'm joined in the Maryland's this club as a head chef, so I can create my own cuisine food as well. Unbeknownst to me, I, my name was called up and I was pretty shocked, along with one of my colleagues. So the two of us had spent the next year training, as well as uh, fundraising. So the amount that we fundraised, in conjunction with the amount that the club donated to send us off to Kokoda, we went to Papua New Guinea and, and yeah, we undertook that challenge. A friend comes to Bingo quite regularly. She comes three or four times a week. With the COVID restrictions, um, she was telling me about this club and how particular they were. And so I decided to give it a try, just to put my toe in the water, as we were isolated. Uh, living alone, I was quite, not lonely at home, but felt alone, and there is a difference. And the welcoming smile from the young people when we walked in, I, I felt as if they really wanted me here. There's over a thousand clubs, millions of members and 45,000 employees in New South Wales alone. We've got over 130 people employed here, but we look at it as a family. In fact, um, there's a young lady called Nita Maynard who became a staff member here and went on and became quite a senior in, in her role and she's now off and she plays rugby league um, for Australia. There's also hundreds of untold stories of companionship, helping out and a feeling of belonging. The story was we had a, a young, uh, young chap from Myanmar and we'd employed him on our front line at our reception area. And one particular day, I tapped him on the shoulder and he grimished in pain. And it turned out that he was in an Asian gang. Anyway, we had a shift that started at 7.30 p.m. and finished at 4 a.m. of the morning on the weekends. So we decided that we would get him to do those shifts and maybe that would avoid the uh, necessity to have him to be hanging out with the, this gang. We were just fortunate that we were able to turn him around and, uh, and give him that opportunity. Eric Twitter, what a great man. His repertoire of um, stories from 60, 70 years ago that he can relate book, chapter and verse in complete detail. And they're funny and entertaining. The young girls love getting Eric up for a dance. We got five bob a day for that nine month tour of, of, of Europe. Uh, five bob a day, but, but really, we stayed at the best hotels, we met the best people. We went to Buckingham Palace, to number 10 Downing Street, we had morning tea with the, the Prime Minister. These are just some of the highlights. It was a trip which no other sport has enjoyed and uh, just, just marvellous, just marvellous. They support the elderly and the war veterans. If they need assistance with um, mental health or whatever, then we can point them in the right direction or help them on the way. They support sports and Indigenous communities. And from saying that, I think a lot of other people have found ventures off-field as well, uh, with thanks to the club. Gambling for some people is a problem. We know that. 
But long before there was any legislation to address it, clubs were working quietly with some very good people to make sure that those who needed help received help. They were amongst the first to, I guess, take the initiative and say, we recognise that people do suffer harm as a result of gambling and we want to put measures in place to respond to that, despite the fact they weren't actually required to do anything at the time. Most people that are coming to us are, are well aware they've got a gambling problem, so it, it, they may well have been thinking about reaching out for help for some period of time. The way we work with them is that we, we assist them in understanding the reasons why they gamble and then assist them to deal with those reasons. So for most people that are seeking help through us, it's not the gambling itself, it's other underlying issues which are leading to the gambling. So that might be relationship issues, that might be work stress, that might be childhood issues, um, it might be uh, health issues, there could be a whole range of things. And often what we find is if we can help the client deal with those issues, the need to gamble either goes away or is dramatically minimised. They're among the first to provide refuge when bushfires, droughts and floods arrive on their doorsteps. And quite often they're the only ones still standing when their headlines and the water cooler conversations have faded away. I've worked here for 16 years now and this is like a family to me because I don't get no family here except this place. The, the moments that made me the person that I am today. I don't think I would have been where I am today without Maryland's RSL. I say it every time I get the opportunity to stand up in front of a group. If it wasn't for Maryland's RSL, we just simply wouldn't exist. I've got my doubts whether there would be any rugby union that played in, the, in this particular area. The club gave me this opportunity to being able to study, which I'm grateful for being able to give back to the community, which is what the club does, giving back to the community. So, you know, we're quite proud of, of that.